Hey LC, welcome back to your 13th installment of LC TV. I'm Emma Bauer. And I'm Aiden Settlemyers. On this week's episode, we will be checking out our very own high school musical. Seeing how LC students celebrate Black History Month. And doing some President's Day trivia. And now here's five things LC is talking about. As of February 13th, Starbucks has changed its reward program for stars. Customers will need more points to earn food and drink items. On February 12th, the Kansas City Chiefs took down the Philadelphia Eagles during the Super Bowl. The final score came to 38 to 35. Speaking of the Super Bowl, Rihanna formally announced her second pregnancy following the halftime show at the game. She had her first baby last May. If you're a Netflix user, now might be the time to kick people off your account. Netflix will be charging additional money when people outside one household use the same membership. In AP Psychology class, students have designed t-shirts to raise funds for our veterans. 5% of these proceeds go to Operation BBS. Uh, I've been teaching AP Psych for like 17 years and we've always done a t-shirt sale just for, like, for the kids in the class. Um, but the last few years we've incorporated like a fundraiser aspect into our sales. Um, basically, there's an organization at Crown Point, uh, the name is Operation Combat Bike Savers, and um, they're an organization that uh, works with mental health issues of veterans. So this is our little way of helping that organization out, so thank you. Did you know that this year's spring production is High School Musical? Here's a sneak peek. How are you doing? Hi. I'm the coach's son. Hi, I'm Gabriella. I'm Sharpay Evans. I'm Ryan Evans. High School Musical is great. Inspiring. Fun. Fast-paced. Unifying. Witty. Fantastic. It's fabulous, glamorous, extravagant, and extraordinary. Hi, I'm Justin Aponte. I play Troy Bolton, uh, the captain of the basketball team. Um, he is a very sweet guy. He really, um, his mindset is really for the greater good. I'm Eloise Planner, and I play Gabriella. Gabriella is the new student at East High, and she is nerdy and into science. I'm Ethan Schooneman, and I play Ryan Evans in High School Musical. Okay. Uh, my character is essentially his or her sidekick, and I just follow her around, do whatever she says. I am Olivia Jabzinski, and I play Sharpay Evans, and I am the star of the show. I'm kind of the leader, and he just kind of follows me around. <laughs> Our rehearsals are very intense, they're fast paced, you really have to learn quick, um, but it also does help because we get through things a lot faster. We practice about two to three times a week. We fit a lot of things into our rehearsals, um, singing, acting, dancing. I would say the practices, they go by way too fast, they're so fun, just time flies by. I'm, I'm with the jocks, so um, I try to have them incorporated it in my act as much as I can. You know, the good thing, they're all very friendly uh, off stage and on stage. I'm part of the Brainiacs and I have chemistry with them because we're, um, a lot of us are friends in real life and it's good to just kind of like keep building those relationships and having fun together. Mainly for the show, I stick to her side constantly yeah. and I feel like we just, we just get along well and we can work off each other really well. Yeah, we've been friends for a long time, so it's pretty easy. A lot of it will compare pretty like identically to the movie, but there is a lot of songs that were not in the movie that are added in that are extremely good. Honestly, I think it'll be better. I think it's like, uh, I feel like it would be like the book version of the movie. Like there's just more to it. I think in a lot of ways it's better. We still have a lot of the iconic moments from the movie, but we get the like fun interactiveness of being on stage. I think this musical will be much better than the movie in itself just because there's a lot more plot to it and more songs. It's just a fun time. Mm -hmm. There's some scenes and songs and even a few characters that have been added, um, but overall I think it's better than the movie and it's so much fun. Zach Efron better be there. Sure. Now here's a word from our sponsor. Located just across the street from Lake Central, Smoothie King offers a delicious smoothie for whatever your dietary goal may be. 
with real natural ingredients and enhancers to help you manage weight, get fit, be well, or enjoy a treat. Each smoothie is customizable to fit your needs. The friendly staff is always happy to help you find the taste and ingredients that are right for you. Download the Healthy Rewards app to earn discounts and rewards and to upgrade from a small to a medium for free on Fridays. February was the start of Black History Month. Let's check out how students are celebrating. Celebrating Black History. Black History. Black History. Black History. Black History. Black History. Black History Month is a celebration that lasts the duration of February, and it honors and highlights the accomplishments of black figures throughout history. Started by Carter G. Woodson, Black History Month was recognized as an official holiday by Gerald Ford. At LC, students are heavily influenced and inspired by Black History Month. A lot of the things that are highlighted during Black History Month are a lot of the things that have been done first by black people that have never been done before. So like the first black person to go to space or the first black institution to be in the Air Force or the Army or things like that. So it's a lot of firsts, a lot of breakthroughs that black people and black institutions has had in our country. As you all may have heard me, I was the first person to read the quote um, on the first week of Black History Month and I personally highlighted Amanda Gorman as my influential African American but at LC we basically just have someone come on every Friday and they'll read a little biography about a person that they feel has influenced them that is very influential as an African. Posters around you'll see if you walk in like Main Street or The Wedge you'll see posters that are around and they basically just highlight like common influential African Americans that you may know or maybe you don't even know before but they've done something that is really um, prominent in American history. Black History Month, February. Well, what it means to me is recognition of many black African Americans and what they did in the past century and how it's had an influence on all of us today. Uh, Martin Luther King, Sojourner Truth, and many others. I mean, there's a long list, and it would take at least an hour to, to list all. And many of black African Americans have invented things that we use today. Uh, I think that most of them are successful because they had trouble, obstacles, hurdles, not alone being courageous and going forward with strength and courage. And I think though you can't be successful without those roadblocks. And I think that those are characteristics that we should have today, courage. But you know, I think success for all of them is that they had heart. And that's where I want to come from, is from my heart, when I try to think of those that I was influenced by. And it's just so important. So February is a month for all, not black, just black African Americans, but all of us, to know that in life, we are representatives that people look up to, you know, little ones, adults even, that everybody watches everybody. And it's, encouraged, it's encouraging to know and to think that that's what we should do from the heart and love others and be courageous in whatever we want to do. All right, thank you guys, yes. Thank you for the insight on the importance of this month. Hey Aiden, what else was celebrated this month? A, St. Patrick's Day, B, Halloween, or C, President's Day? A? C. Let's take a look at some President's Day trivia. Hey, LC, and happy President's Day. Today, we're going to test LC students' knowledge to see what they know about our presidents. How many kids did President George Washington have? Zero, four, seven, or two? I'm going to say zero. That's correct. Which U.S. president served the king and queen of Great Britain hot dogs when they visited the USA? Was it Tyler, Monroe, Madison, or Roosevelt? Monroe. Incorrect. Which president had a pet alligator? Was it Reagan, Nixon, Kennedy, or Adams? Um, Reagan. No, that's incorrect. Which president was a teddy bear named after? Clinton, Byrne, Jefferson, or Roosevelt? Roosevelt. That's true. Which president was the only president to not live in the White House? Is it George Washington, Bill Clinton, Joe Biden, or Donald Trump? Bill Clinton. That's incorrect. Nice. Which states produced the most U.S. presidents? Virginia, Texas, Illinois, or Indiana? 
Virginia. Who is the oldest living president? Was it McKinley, Carter, Jackson, or Biden? Biden. That is incorrect. <laughs> Which president got stuck in the bathtub? I did not know half of that information. Neither did I. Moving on, let's watch our boys basketball senior night along with sports update. Hey LC, I'm Kaylee Cosina. I'm Brian Robin Law. And I'm Sophia Watts, and welcome back to this week's sports update. <laughs> Gymnastics team had great performances against Michigan City, Chesterton, and Laporte. They are currently fourth in the DAC. Mason Jones and Guillermo Rivera competed in the state finals last Friday. The boys' 200-yard medley relay and the 400-yard freestyle relay got first at sectionals. Finishing in the top three for their events were Wilford Crackle, Nolan Myers, Colin Gallagher, Griffin and Hayden Weber, Cal Bowen, Tommy Tinsley, Aiden Ace, and Alexander Kostick. Huge congratulations to the girls basketball team for winning regionals for the first time since 1998. Great job, girls. The dance team had LCDI where they honored all of their seniors and prepared for nationals. Wishing you guys the best of luck. Hey Kaylee, did you go to the basketball game? I did, how about you? No, I didn't, but I heard it was a really good one. Let's go check it out. Senior night means to me like all the fond memories growing up, seeing all the players have their last moments together as a team at home at Lake Central High School. And just growing up seeing them have their senior night made it like very important to see how we play for our senior night. Uh, my favorite memory from the season is mostly the tournaments in the summer and winter when we go out with the big bus and we stay out the night with the whole team in the hotel. Those seem to be pretty fun a lot. This team has shaped me into a very uh, trustworthy uh, player and a uh, confident player as well. They give me confidence every day and, uh, you know, just always being me on the court. I think what I'll miss with LC basketball is just growing up playing with the kids now and uh, the connections and friendships you make by playing on a team like this and the people you meet. I've been playing with them since, like, third grade, but... You know, we're still going to keep in contact, and I think we're going to have a good time in college, but it's kind of sad we're all leaving each other. That's our sports update. See you next time. Thanks, guys, for the update. Now here's a word from our sponsor. Hi, Lake Central students. My name is Josh Helper and I'm the owner of Albert's Diamond Jewelers right here in Sherville, Indiana. And I'm hoping someday, when you have that special occasion, you will come and see us at Albert's. Hey, I heard about a girl here who wants to go to space. Well, I haven't. Let's go check it out. Um, I kind of got into it when I was little. I used to go on like camping trips all of the time and we would go out and see the stars and I've always been a science kid so that's kind of been like drawn my interest. I would really like to like get my degree in either astrophysics or aerospace engineering and with that work at NASA and do like build rockets, like work on like the thrusters or do something with like like studying, like being an astronaut and actually going to space and testing like some of the physics there as well. One of the things that I've had to do beyond like what normal kids do is I do a lot of like research myself. I'll go into different websites that have the papers that um, like other students will write from like college students and I'll read those and I do a lot of research on that. Um, one of the things that I've done most recently was I've gone to space camp and in Huntsville, Alabama they have space camp where they have their advanced space academy and then they have their elite space academy and over the summer I was invited to do the elite academy and I was doing a 24 hour or overnight um, like astronaut training mission and then I also did some, uh, some underwater astronaut training with, um, it was a 30 foot deep pool and we got to do some engineering stuff under there and it was really quite cool. And then I also have done engineering camp um, through Purdue and at that I was actually awarded the Innovator Award. Um, one of the things about Texas that's really drawn me in is some of their alumni. 
Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson actually got his master's in physics there, and so that was kind of a big draw for me because he's been one of the people that I've looked up to the most as a kid. And I also have a lot of family in Texas, so it's been like the location's good. Try to be very passionate, but be well-rounded at the same time because you don't want to be the kind of person who's really good in just one thing and only stays in that one subject, but you also don't want to be the person who's like mediocre at everything. You want to find a couple of different things that are like, they're very different, but you still are able to get good at them. And so you're well-rounded, but also passionate. That's very impressive, Ava. I'm terrified of going into space. That's embarrassing. Anyway, let's go check out one of our newest teachers. So the transition has been unique because I just graduated from Indiana Wesleyan in December. So this is my first official teaching position. Um, so my transition has more so been from student teaching to actually having my own classroom. And it's been really good so far. I teach English 11, World Lit, and Dual Credit Speech. I really like English 11 because right now we're reading The Crucible and we get to do a lot of fun activities and act out the parts together in class. Um, World Lit is really good because we're able to read a lot of different novels and books from different cultures and societies, so we get to learn about those cultures while also learning about ourselves. And then dual credit speech has been good because a lot of students at first are very weary of public speaking, but the more that we do it and the more that we learn and practice, they get more confident in themselves. Some of the positives of working at LC have been that I am a graduate from Lake Central myself, so I know a lot of the teachers here. They were my teachers and now they're my colleagues, so I have some connections already. And the only negative I can think of is that sometimes it's a little bit early in the morning to wake up, but honestly getting out early makes up for that. Some of my hobbies outside of school would be reading. I'm an English teacher. Um, so obviously I love to read, but also I really like to travel, I like to go to different coffee shops, and just hang out with friends. Something that I want staff and students to know about me is just that I'm really excited to be here, and I want to be that support system for my students. So yeah, I'm just happy to be here. I hope I have Miss White as a teacher next year. Now here's a word from our sponsor. Welcome to Essential Nutrition. We are located on the south side of Lake Central, right behind Taco Bell. Here at Essential, we are a sampling shop for post and pre-workout protein shakes. We also have teas, iced coffees, and healthy sweets and snacks. We also have tables and bar seating for students. But you have to come in to find out about our Lake Central specials. Before we go, we want to give a quick shout out to Gilgas. Thank you for supporting LCTV. Well, that's it for today, LC. I'm Emma Bauer. And I'm Aiden Settle Myers. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube and our other social media platforms. Thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time. Bye. Say something. Wildcat! What's good, y'all? <laughs> Peanut butter gelatin, peanut butter gelatin, peanut butter gelatin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you not know the lyrics? I don't, but I'm sure these LC students do. I've never seen that in my life. Neither have I. You've never seen a whatchamacallit? What the no. heck is a whatchamacallit? Quick. 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 Quick.